people don't realize is that Sahara Africa, up until about 4,500 to 5,000 years ago, was totally green. Ah, the Sahara. It's hot, it's dry, and it's a great place to shoot a film if you want to pretend that you are on another planet. But what if I told you, 12,000 years ago, the Sahara was a lush green paradise full of life? No, I'm not kidding. But right now, it is a vast expanse of sand and heat that could make even the camels cry. But could Sahara ever be green again? Let's find out. My name is Siddharth and you're watching The World of Science. A lot of people see the Sahara Desert and they don't realize that this place was unbelievably different than it is today. First things first, let's talk about why the Sahara is a desert now. It's not just because it's naturally hot and dry. The real culprit here is something called the Milankovitch Cycles. These are long-term changes in the Earth's orbit that affect the amount of sunlight that reaches different parts of the planet. When the Sahara was green, it was getting more rainfall and sunlight than it is getting now. But that soon changed. Around 8,000 years ago, the Earth's tilt started moving from 24.1 degrees then to 23.5 degrees now, causing the Sahara to be drier and less hospitable for plant life. Gradually, dryness took hold and the green Sahara from the past turned into the desert that we know today. One of the biggest challenges in making Sahara green is the obvious lack of water. The desert receives very little rainfall and the underground aquifers that once sustained life are now depleted. But what if we could find a way to bring water to the desert? One idea is to build massive pipelines that stretch from the Atlantic Ocean to the Sahara. The salt water brought there would be desalinated and would be used for irrigation purposes. Now, this may seem like a crazy idea, but it's not as far-fetched as you may think. After all, the ancient Egyptians could bring water to the desert using a system of canals and irrigation. If they could do it thousands of years ago, why can't we do it now? Plus, with the modern technology, we can build larger and more efficient irrigation systems. In fact, there are already plans of transporting water from the Congo River to the Sahara. Another idea is to use renewable energy to power desalination plants in the Sahara. Solar power is abundant in the region and using it to desalinate water could be a game changer. Of course, it would require a lot of investment in infrastructure, but it would pay off big time in the long run. But bringing water to the Sahara is only half the battle. We also need to find a way to reintroduce the flora and the fauna that once called this desert home. The most interesting idea of all comes from the scientists who want to bring back the ancient vegetation of the Sahara. They want to do it by genetically engineering plants that are more resistant to heat and drought and then use drones to spread their seeds across the desert. Doesn't it sound like the simulator games that we play online? The key to greening the Sahara is something called geoengineering. Now, this may sound like a flashy term, but it's just a way to manipulate the environment to achieve a desired outcome. Of course, all of this is easier said than done, but the rewards could be enormous. A green Sahara would not only be a beautiful site, it could also be home to a lot of plants and animals. As a bonus, it could help combat climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It's possible, but it will take a lot of determination and hard work. But hey, if we can put a man on the moon, we can surely convert a desert into a forest, right? Right? <laughs> but who knows we'll be able to take a stroll through the lush green forests of Sahara, sipping on a cold drink and marveling at the wonders of nature. But then there's also the question of whether or not it's even a good idea to turn Sahara green again. Some argue that we should leave the Sahara as it is and focus on protecting the existing ecosystems of the planet instead. After all, the Sahara is a home to many plants and animals that have adapted to the harsh conditions. And who knows what will happen if we change things. So, could the Sahara ever be green again? The answer is yes, it's possible. But whether or not we should try it is a completely different question altogether. So, did you enjoy the video? Let us know in the comments. 
make sure you subscribe to the world of science until next time stay hydrated i mean stay scientific